Now, when I'm going to release him to fr be free, and let's say that I've been walking him, I'm gonna have him sit first like this, and then I'm gonna pat his chest and say, go. And now he's on free time. If I'm gonna call him back to come to me, there's a real specific way that I do it. I'm gonna break it down for you so you know exactly how I'm doing it. Uh, I have the leash in my left hand, and you can always just put, put your uh, hand through the loop and you can't possibly ever lose it. Uh, you wanna always avoid doing this, ever, because then you're gonna make that leash tight and that tension on the leash is gonna stress him out and cause him to have anxiety and, and to be overstimulated and that's where all the bad behavior comes from. Uh, so you wanna keep it loose, just hold it with his hand. If it's too long, just raise your hand like this to make it shorter. Uh, really avoid him pulling you around like this. If, you're, if you don't want to go somewhere, if you're standing somewhere and he wants to go somewhere, you just do that. And with this little prong collar he's got on, he responds so well to it. He's, just, he's very sensitive. You don't want to use any force when using these. Just a little signal like that. And that's all it takes for him to stand around like this. He knows there's a six foot zone out there. He can go wherever he wants, but he, he's not allowed to pull you around anymore. You don't have to say a word, just do that and he'll stop. Don't let him lead you, lead you around anymore. Um, when you're gonna call him back to come, you have your other hand free for the little reward that you're gonna have in this target right here, this fist. You wanna use the fist because when you stop having food, when you start phasing the food out, he's not gonna know nothing's in there. He's still gonna to love to come to this target no matter what and not even know why later on. And that's why whenever later on in another month or so, you should start phasing out the food at your house. Um, when you start phasing out the food, he's always gonna come to this. He's gonna love to come to us because we're also saying good and petting him and making a big deal out of it. So when the food goes away, uh, he's gonna barely miss it. Uh, so much better than calling him to a, to a half open hand or an open hand, because then he, he's gonna see when you, when you uh, start phasing the food out. So call him to a, this fist. Always call him when he's at least looking away from you. And see how I'm waiting for him to look away from me? Possibly. If he doesn't, then you can always create your own distraction by tossing something like that, like a piece of food, and then say, come. See how he's coming to me? He, good, he touches that hand, it opens up, he gets a reward. I say, good, I step into him and have him sit. And then that's the way we get him back on the clock. So one more time, release him, go. And notice how I backed away. When you back away, it'll draw him to you quicker. Come, just like that. See how he's coming to me, to my right hand target? Good, good boy. Step into him, have him sit. And if he doesn't, you just make sure you reinforce that, that SIT there. And then you can, uh, then he's back on the clock and you can continue your walk. Okay.